and that is when I would buy a Zonda 760 Roadster or a Venino Roadster. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London. As you can see behind me, I have a 2015 Audi R8 V10 Spider. For those that don't know, I've seemed to have developed a little bit of a fear of driving a car with no roof. So this video is gonna be documenting my first few miles in this car and trying to get to grips with facing my fear of driving a convertible. And what better weather to give this a first test on. So let's jump in, put the roof down and go for a drive. This is the scariest button in a car like this. I mean, what better car to test out whether I can face my fear of driving a convertible with the roof down than the brand new Audi R8 V10 Spider. So what you do is you pull this back, windows begin to drop. Whoa, here comes the roof. There it goes. And now, unfortunately, we are ready to go. Right, I'm already sweating. It's 21 degrees outside. And firstly, let me give you a little background into why I'm not a fan of convertible cars. First things first, I think that it ruins the shape of most cars when it comes to the coupe versus the convertible version. And I think the R8 is a, a sad culprit to that. I think the convertible, the soft top, basically just looks like a bubble on top of a beautiful car. The other thing is the upkeep of the fabric. Now, I've seen Ferraris and I've seen Lamborghinis. I've also seen R8s that don't have a very good looking fabric that just isn't look well, look well looked after. And to be honest, it makes the car look cheaper. And the last thing, the, my major factor as to why I don't like convertibles is all of this space. You are so exposed, overexposed, that it makes me really uncomfortable when I'm driving this car or even the thought about it. I've been in passengers to a fair few convertibles before. And to me, I feel very uncomfortable of how exposed you are to people walking on the side, to other cars and I just don't like the package. The idea of a convertible car does not appeal to me. And especially in the UK when we get about 24 hours of sun, like today. There's just no need. I understand why people have convertibles in the south of France, Spain, and in America, LA. But in the UK, why not go for the better looking version, the hard top, where you can just drop the window down when you want a bit of fresh air. So I'm about a mile in now, and I'm already um, not a fan of it. I can feel my hair going all over the place in the wind. And that may sound like a very vain perspective, but when you're driving a car like this around, I'm doing 30 miles an hour in a 30 zone. Whenever you're cruising to an event or whether you're going to dinner, most people will spend 10, 15 minutes and maybe your female companion or your male companion may spend a little bit longer, an hour or two. The last thing you wanna do is get in a car and have your hair blown all over the place. And I know that isn't a great start to the argument as to why you wouldn't get a convertible, but this video really is about me facing my fear of getting to grips with driving this car with the roof down and putting it in sport. I get that, I get that. I'm just gonna put that window back up and see whether it does anything to the aerodynamics of putting your head out the window. <laughs> now I know this video might be controversial. I'm sure that there's people out there that love the convertible cars. And I can understand that because everyone is entitled to their own opinion, has their own tastes. The world would be very boring if we all like the same things and dislike the same things. So this video, talking about why I don't like convertibles, we're coming up to a red light now, and this is a real sort of fear of mine, is I'm so exposed, like people can just stare in at your 
personal space. A car is a personal space. And for those that have been following my YouTube channel for quite some time now will, will realize how reluctant I've been to wearing sunglasses whilst I've been driving my car. And that's all down to an image and a judgmental thing of what people will perceive me as. And for me, I've always wanted to be as real as possible and of who I am and just as down to earth as I am. So I always feel like wearing sunglasses, one, you lose eye contact with the person that you're talking to, or all of you guys, which I don't like. That's another reason why I don't like convertible cars. Does sound good though. <laughs> so, now I am um, stuck in traffic and it's relatively awkward when I vlog in traffic anyway because I feel that there's so many people looking towards the car but that Renault Clio is certainly louder than it probably should. But I always feel like there's a few people looking at me and I do look back on some of my vlogs and see that people are looking whilst I'm talking to the camera. So I always try and get away from as quick as possible. So that I can carry on vlogging and talking to you and concentrating on what I'm talking about. So the traffic lights for me, a real big no-no in terms of, in, even in my car, let alone a convertible. Oh, that was a good crackle. And maybe that's a positive to the convertible. You wouldn't be able to hear the crackles or the exhaust note as much as in the something like this where you're so exposed to the world outside. I'll tell you what we need to do. This will really put it to the test on how good a convertible is. We need to find a proper tunnel, a really enclosed tight space where I can take this car, find out how it sounds and work out whether an Audi R8 V8 Spyder with an Army Trix exhaust is better than my car. Right, we've got a tunnel coming up here. I'm gonna hold back and boot it. cruising past the garage and the mechanics are all outside because it's a lovely day and they wanted me to boot it of course I was gonna boot it anyway because I built up to that tunnel about 10 minutes ago there's another underpass let's try and nail it oh okay I get it I get it I get the extra sound. We're gonna get a dual carriageway now. I'm gonna put all of the windows down. We may lose some sound and get lots of wind noise, but let's see how good the aerodynamics of the car and the airflow is when it comes to driving quick on a dual carriageway. happy medium with this car it's windows down full throttle on a Sunday hoon this is so 
fun. Rather than pooling around town and trying to use this as a day-to-day -day car. This is where it's at! <laughs> You don't want to be driving around town. You don't want to be exposed to all of these people around you. You don't want to be exposed to the wind when you're driving around town, when you're stuck in traffic and people can hear what you're talking about. Or when you've got an annoying plane above you. You need to be in your own world on a weekend hoon where you've just got nothing but the V10 or whatever engine you've got, no roof. is insane and here we go again <laughs> yeah I get this car now I get convertibles I think I'm converted. Ladies and gentlemen, that is facing my fears, driving a convertible for the first time. And I understand them now. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope what I've talked about can be relatable. People can understand what I'm talking about when it comes to driving this car around town and the attention this car might get, whether it's good or bad. And overall, it's just been a fun video to film for me. And it's also been a very, very fun experience for me at the same time to be using Audi UK's 2015 Audi R8 V10 Spider to get to grips with my fear of driving a convertible. Thank you for watching. I hope this content has come out well and there hasn't been so loads of air noise and wind and all of that sort of stuff. I'm gonna go for one last hoon and then I'll remember this car and who knows whether or not I will buy a convertible at some stage in my life. I do think the ideal place for a convertible is Monaco or Miami. And that is when I would buy a Zonda 760 Roadster or a Venino Roadster. Goodbye!